how to score goals guys because it's one tip that everyone can always get help with and it's one thing that you can always get better at because you can't score enough goals in a game so let's look at how to score goals how's it going everybody Burke crown here and uh we're gonna go over some things it's gonna be how to score goals in open space how to uh what to do if you find yourself on breakaways and you're struggling to score goals this will help if you find yourself at sides of the net struggling to score goals this will help and right at the end of the video i'm going to throw up uh, the wrap goals different ways to get yourself into that position if you guys have been struggling with that because i've had questions on how to score those types of goals so we're going to address them here so everybody i hope you do enjoy the video if you do give it a thumbs up hit that comment section down below and let's put the puck in the back of the net guys Alrighty, so what we're going to do is just your generic, basic, you're on a breakaway, right? So you get a breakaway right around here. What do you do? You're going to want to go forehand, backhand, back to your forehand in the net. And I know that happened quickly, so I'll slow it down, then I'll do it again. And all you're doing here, if you don't really have a great idea of why this goal keeps going in or why it's time he's the goalie, is you're getting the goalie moving. So we're starting out on our far side, away from the forehand shot that we're going to be attempting. And then what we're going to do is when we get to about the hash marks, you're going to see me lean the puck to my forehand. That pulls the goalie over to that post. And then as we get closer to the goalie, passing the hash marks, that's when we're going to go backhand, moving the goalie away from our end target. Because that's the goal. You want to move your goalie away from your shot. So we're going to snap it to the backhand, shifting the goalie over right here. You're going to see us go backhand at the bottom hash marks, shifting the goalie over. Now you see his power is generating him to the backhand shot. That's his momentum now. His momentum is pulling him away from our final target. But you're going to see here when I get full to the backhand, no, I'm not going to hold the backhand. I'm going to immediately get back to that forehand and rip a shot as quick as possible before the goalie has time to react. So we're going to go right when we hit our backhand, we're going to go forehand. And then as you can see, that goalie is snapped down on the butterfly. But look at all that space we have because we pulled him off of that post. And it's just going to go in the net. Now I'm going to show you on a breakaway, if you just stay forehand, your goalie is going to be over there to get that shot, right? That's why you want to go backhand to pull him off of that angle. And just to show you again, we're going to go forehand, backhand, and then quickly back to the forehand and in the net. But we're going to drift a little bit to the backhand post. So you keep that in mind, whether you're righty or a lefty, you're drifting towards the backhand post and then you're going left, right. And then you're going forehand, backhand. And it's not all about speed as it is nailing the timing down right it's never going to be about speed you can slow down right just quick little forehand and backhands that's all you're doing you're getting the goalie shaking just quick forehands and backhands just shake that goalie now that that's your breakaway goal so you have space coming in at this side don't forget to go backhand easy goals that way okay so what i'm doing is i'm leaning the goalie forehand and then i'm pulling it around in backhand and remember, you want to be tight to the goalie for this to work. You're going to go forehand and backhand. And the closer you get to him, practicing the closer you get to him, the better. Because when you go forehand to pull him to that post, and then you quickly pull it backhand, you want to be around him with your momentum to get that goal. And then the wrap. It is all about entering at the backhand around those boards. So we'll show that again. Because it's all about entering on your back you want austin matthews to be on the right side because he's a lefty right as you come around the net you just could be generating good speed nothing fancy closer to the boards the better that's why i'm riding the boards here and then right around here you're gonna flick that right stick up for your shot right one little flick of the right stick and it'll pull him around the post and in the net and that's how that works right now, I'm not going to say a forehand wrap doesn't work. I'm just going to say, like, because when you're stretching around the net, you want to go wide around the goalie. That's what you want to do on forehand. Because if you try to do forehand just the way we did there, it generally doesn't work. Because the goalie gets over there. I don't know why the forehand won't work as much as the backhand. It just, it just must be a way in the mechanic, but it just doesn't work. The goalie gets there. Now, if you're... You, you can apply this to in-game. You don't need to start at the blue line and fly down the boards. Because if you're here and your opponent knows you're trying to get your back, your your uh, wrap, you can fake a cutback, right? So if you're coming up the boards and your opponent comes in, you can fake a cutback, which will bring him off the boards, and then you just swing around. You can do forehand. 
right? You just, when you're coming around, stop and do it that way. That almost went in too, but that'll go in a lot. If you're riding, if you're riding down the boards on your forehand, you're like, oh, it's forehand, whatever. I'll cut back and I'll hit it that way. The greatest thing about people protecting the wrap is the option it gives you. Instead of wrapping, you cut out in front of your goalie. That's a great option to the wrap. So there you go, guys. There's uh, there's a couple of ways to score goals. If you want to see any of those goals in action, hit me over on Twitch. Burt Crown 88. I stream every morning at 7.30 a.m. Eastern Time until around 11.30. If you want to see those goals or ask me about those goals in game, come over there. That's where I do. That's where I do all my finest work. But I hope you guys enjoy the video. And uh, until next time, ciao ciao.